Hello and welcome my beautiful Libras. Here is your extended reading for the week of March the 27th to April the 2nd year 23. And of course we're starting off with finance and career. We'll move on to relationships and romance and we'll move on to the outcome card and what you need to focus on. So let's start off and see what money is about here. Let's see what you need to know about your finances, your career, your job. Uh, and the energy coming in towards you in that department. Well, first of all, you got the spiral and then you got an award here. So you may have felt that your life and the energy around you was spiraling, uh, you know, you know, going down and down and around and around out of control. But know that you're climbing a ladder now to success. And often it takes time, one step, one rung at a time as we ascend that that ladder of uh, of of abundance and in our career. Um, you're, you are on an upward trend, so don't be afraid uh, if it takes you time, okay? Sometimes we have to step out of, out of our out of our comfort zone to go after what we want. And I do think you're going to be doing that. Coming to the edge was that card that told us about that, where we had you had to be brave and courageous and go after what you want. Some of you might be getting a promotion here, but it's connecting with the right people, the right powers that be that are going to allow you to get that promotion. Perhaps you're going to you're going to be called into your boss's, your employer's office, and you're going to be spoken to and given a promotion. Uh, you could be revisiting a job as well. You might be going back to see someone that you used to work for and maybe they want you to go and work for them and they're going to offer you more money. So there's something here that, you know, is very different here. You could be getting a raise where you are or you could be asked to go back to either a department you worked in or back to a different place of employment and they may be offering you more money to, to, uh, to entice you to work for them. Now, you've got the award, and there, this says, you know, you're going to get a payoff. And this is for the great effort that you put into something here, uh, going after what you want. And you're going to get recognition for this. There's going to be some sort of a financial or job title, uh, uh, you know, advancement. You know, and I think you're going to get recognized for what you do here, your skills, and you're going to get rewarded for it. Because we talked about, you know, um, you know, getting a promotion. And often with a promotion, it isn't just a, do a job title. It's often more money. Um, but often it brings more responsibility. We all know, too. But you have to weigh those options. What's going to be worth? Is it going to be worth it to you to do the extra work and what they want you to do? Now, it is an advancement. Okay, there is going to be an advancement here by the looks of things for some of you. And I do think the work that you're in is professional work. It's almost as though you may be working internationally, um, you know, with your job and getting recognition globally for what you do. So some of you may be dealing with clients from all over the world. Maybe there's going to be some... Uh, you know, some advertising going on to promote you in some way. But definitely, you're going to feel like, wow, I won the gold cup here. I've, I've won money. I, You know, it's a payoff for my, my, my effort, and I'm getting recognized for it. So this is wonderful. Wow. Hard times are going to come to an end here uh, with this 10 of rods. Your hard work is going to pay off here. Amazing. Now, let's see what we have here for relationships. Now, you know, your, the general reading here didn't look good. There was some deception here, some betrayal here. But let's see what we have because now we're going to switch into either partnership and friendship or in romance. And this could be playmate, love mate, or even, they're saying one more card, uh, or even uh, life mate. Whoops. Okay. These fell on the floor. So, yeah. Keep shuffling. What we got. One more card. Okay, there we go. All right. So, what have we got here? All right. So, I'll just move these over, guys, so that I can I can see my desk better. Sorry about that. Okay. So, you've got children, playfulness, and finance and career. Now, there could be some issues here. Uh, in a relationship here. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that could be um, having to discuss finances and sort things out with each other. Maybe one of you is not being, you know, you need to be honest about what it is you want, saving your money and not being too spending emotionally. Um, so there could be some issues here in your relationship that has to do with money. Uh, whatever that is, uh, you need to talk it out, work it out and be open, open about this. Now, if someone here you've just met isn't 
being honest with you. You need to do your research here, they're telling me. Make sure that you know they're gainfully employed. They're telling you the truth and, you know, so help them God. Because I'm concerned about this cat, okay, when that comes in. This could be somebody who's two-faced. This could be somebody who uh, isn't being honest with you. So be careful. It can come up as a red flag sometimes. There also could be issues with children. Your love life is being affected by children. Um, and maybe, uh, you know, this person you're with isn't telling you that they have a family. Uh, and they may not be as available to have a relationship with you. Or, you know, there could be a great relationship here where you're going to blend a family. Where the, the you maybe you have children and they have children. And you're going to blend the family for, for the greater good and for happiness. So, uh, but making discussions about how you're going to do that. Now, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner useful spirit to fun, have fun and shine. So I think, you know, you need to enjoy what, some of you, whatever relationship you're in, you need to add fun to it again. You know, I talked about this beautiful page of cups in the original reading, and they tend to be useful and fun, and they bring that aspect into it, and they're insightful, and, they, and, they're, and they're dreamy, but and imaginative and emotional. And they, they have this ability to come in and just, you know, spin your head. They're not the knight who sweeps you off the, your feet, but they have this ability to pique your attention. And I just see happiness and smiling going on with this page. So there is something here where you're going to have fun either with children in a relationship or with a new partner or your partner now. But there could be some heavy discussions about money too. That's important. Let's face it. Uh, money is a very important part about a relationship. And we need to be on the same planet and on the same wavelength when we discuss it okay let's see what you have here for your outcome card here so we'll just move these up a little bit here here we go so your outcome card what do we have here for your outcome card what do they need to see know and expect my beautiful libras what are the changes they need to be made aware of what do they need to release relinquish and surrender to All right, they gave you three, so we're taking them. Surrender to passion, surrender to denial, and surrender to creativity. Okay, so look at things, you know, uh, you, can't, you have to take off the rose-colored glasses here. Um, is what they're telling me. And you need to get past this, the smoke and mirrors, all right? This is about accepting a situation or people exactly as they are. So don't get caught up in the illusion uh, of you know, things being better or worse than they are. You need to see everything without denying the difficulties. So if there are difficulties, try not to, to sweep them under the carpet. This is a time that you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. You know, I talked about this page of cups here, you know, and getting out of your head and feeling the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. It could be this useful this useful uh, energy of someone here like the page of cups coming in enjoy it now surrender to creativity let your imagination soar stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem so this is calling for you to look at things from a higher and different perspective to research to uh Think and see things as they truly are. Don't deny them so that you can create something here that you want to go after, your goal that you want to go after here, your, your, your dream that you want to go after here. Okay, let's see what you need to focus on. All righty, let's see what you need to focus on this week, Libra. See what you need to focus on. Hearts to Libra, please, Spirit. One are as many. Libra, please. Hearts to Libra. What do they need to focus on, Spirit? What does Libra need to focus on? Okay, so I'm going to take these two because it flipped out this way. All right. Okay, you got the gold and you got the sundress. Okay, so the gold says you don't need someone else to fix you. Okay, this is about you being independent, going after what you want. Um, you know, you see the truth in a situation here with the King of Swords. It's great to have someone here like this page that's going to bring something useful in. But I think this page is going to accept you wholeheartedly to have some fun here. Don't try to allow somebody to step forward and try to 
put their two cents worth in, um, you know, thinking that they're going to help you. Sometimes people hinder us rather than, you know, and they critique us and they criticize us. You need to step away from that energy. Know that you have the capability, my beautiful Libras, to stand strong and independent and go after what you want. Because after all, this is your personal unique journey. You got the sundress and it says, do it for you. Okay, very apropos, these two should fly out, to, should stick out together. So, you know what, you've got prosperity here coming in. As long as you know that this new moon means you need to go after what you want. Don't be afraid to go after it. You know, come to the edge. Sometimes it's scary to jump into something new, but know that the only way, you know, if you, if you, you either risk or you regret, right? So, don't be afraid to go after what you want, Libra. All right. Well, my beautiful Libras. This is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week to look forward to. Always know I stand in the circle of love for you. See you soon, Libra.